Sometimes when we talk with homeowners about groundwater issues, we talk about a cone of depression. In this video, we'll talk about what a cone of depression is and how it's formed. Have you ever noticed when you're drinking something thick, such as a smoothie or milkshake, the liquid starts to form a depression around the straw? This is because the liquid is being drawn out of the glass faster than it can fill the space. The same principle applies to groundwater. A cone of depression occurs when a well is pumped at a faster rate than the water flowing in the aquifer. The water table then draws down into a cone shape, starting at the point where the well intakes water. This can happen anywhere pumping exceeds the rate of flow, including agricultural and residential landscapes. Since this draws down the water in the soil, pumping needs to be managed because not only will it affect the well that's causing it, but it can also affect other wells close by that may not be as deep in the soil. These wells will either lose water pressure or receive no water at all. Once these depressions occur, they usually are not permanent. And once the pumping slows or stops, the water table can quickly go back to normal. When we think of a cone of depression, we usually see these happening in unconfined aquifers. But we can also have drawdown in confined aquifers, where we would see just a lowering of the hydraulic head versus a cone shape of the water. Even though these depressions can often fix themselves fairly quickly, pumping should always be carefully managed to avoid overpumping. Significant drawdown over time cannot be repaired. To learn more about groundwater, keep watching our series on groundwater basics. Thanks for watching.